everybody and welcome to Leah's Handmade Crafts episode. Do you know what? I've given up counting. I don't know. I'll put it down below. Um, g'day and welcome to this week's episode. It's um, a little bit of a few things. It's a happy mail, a finished object, some whips and some acquisitions. So I'll start with the happy mail. And the happy mail was I finally got my Swift. Yay! And my ball winder that I ordered from wish.com for $48. That's right, $48 for the two. What an absolute bargain. So that's exactly what you get, the Swift and the ball winder. So I'm a bit excited and can't wait to use them. So that's them. Um, for those who don't know what a Swift is, it's a machine that, like an, a bit like an umbrella, stretches out and you put your skein of yarn around it and it holds it instead of having someone stand like that <laughs> and holding the hank for you while you wind it up. So you use, this, you use the swift, so this little machine here, and you wind it, you put your, your ball on the hank or your hank on the, on the winder and then you get, get your ball winder and you wind away. And this spins around as you wind. So they work synonymously. That's a big word, isn't it? So that's that. And I'm very, very excited that they arrived together. Very excited. Can't wait to use them. Um, I also have... Excuse the rustling. My most recent, my most recent magazine. How unprofessional! Please excuse me. Uh, and it's this month's version of Simply Crochet, and with it comes the Stylecraft 30th Anniversary Pattern Book. So that's a bit exciting. So we'll rip on in and have a look. I love the top that's on the front. So, usually you've got the first few pages of, you know, bits of blurbs and telling you what's in the magazine and some ads. And then there's, oh, this looks interesting. Doesn't that look interesting? And it says, you heard it here first in tribute to the role played by horses in the development of canals. The coffee and crochet group at National Waterways Museum. Ellesmere Port have created, sorry, have crocheted a live life-sized horse. It took 28 strong groups, six months, and 500 granny squares to transform a huge bag of yarn into a life-sized bear, now named Rainbow. And there's a website that you can go to and have a look at it. But doesn't that look amazing? That looks awesome. And then they talk about different events and things. They're all British based, so they're usually of no interest to me because I cannot get them. But what they do usually do is do a book review, inspiring books that I do tend to look at. Doesn't mean I buy, but I do like to look. Um, and more little bits and bobs. Um, they've got one that's five fab finds. And it's the Colour Crazy Stitch Markers. I love these stitch markers. Um, and you can really colour coordinate your work. Um, there's a Sunday Roast stitch marker. And there's a name of where you can get it from the Etsy store. So they've got a few Etsy store stitch markers sites. I prefer to make my own. Which I do do quite often. Um... So then there's some, um, they've got a thing on fillet crochet. So there's a top. I'm not really into fillet crochet, to be honest with you. There's a wrap and then there's a skirt. It's not my, not really, I was going to say not my strong thing, but it's just doesn't interest me, to be honest with you. A uh, shawl.
Um, more on the fillet, which is a lace tunic. I did say it was nice. It's not something I would make, though. Looking at that like that, that's that's not something that I would I would wear. It's a tunic dress. But for someone who's interested in that sort of thing, you know, it's a pretty amazing looking pattern. Then there's a uh, little cow to make. Quite like her, she's quite cute. Complete with the tail and the googly eyes. I don't do sew on eyes, I do the googly eyes. Only because I can't sew on eyes, I'll admit it. Then there's a um, thing on Pony's, Pony's journal from the studio. So this is Pony McTate. And this is her little journal. Each month they feature a different journal of a different uh, designer. So Polly's a make, do and mend. Um, then there's some socks. They're pretty trendy. I think I know some girls who would make those. Um, some mandalas. They're pretty. I prefer that one, I must say. A world of colour. This is a good read, so they give you a little bit of a story every so often about a designer. Um, transform a low cut top with this lacy modesty panel. I do like that. That This is something I would do. I quite like that. Oh, this is gorgeous. How cute is that? It's a little pillow. I don't do um, these things as a rule. Just not me. Not not something that I enjoy doing. Um, so a talk about dyeing colours. Um, designer Def Delft blanket. So there was some finalists in this blanket competition really cute little bag that's quite cute I love the little motifs on it uh, some baby yarns a yarn review and then we come into the st different stitches and look at this this is a coral chorus they call it but it's wildflower bunting now this I do like. I quite like that and it talks about how to do the different um, wildflowers. And then tassel time, a blanket. I would do the blanket minus the tassels. I do not do tassels. Just because I'm just not fussed on them, that's all. Oh, look at this little otter. How cute is that? He's a cutie. And then there's a... a um, telling you what's in the next issue. Next issue has a notions, little notions case. Oh, and look at this beautiful wrap. How pretty is that? That's gorgeous. Anyway, that's the end of the magazine. Oh, then they do the charts and diagrams at the back. And they also give you abbreviations and hook change, like the conversions and how to do the different, different um, stitches. So... That's quite good. And the Stylecraft 
magazine. Has a few different things in here that I would definitely make. I'm not so sure I'd do that pillowcase only because that's a lot of weaving in to do. That's not my style. Oh, that's quite cute. They're um a hook case and a and a needle holder case. They're quite cute. Uh, fresh as a daisy little baby blanket. I quite like daisies, crochet daisies. I mean, that just looks so cute, doesn't it? Oh, that's pretty. That's nice. I love that blue. That's gorgeous. It's more on the. Then you've got uh, flower power pillowcases. Stars and stripes pillows. Quite like the star one. And last but not least, the frog prints. How cute is that? That's kind of cute. I love his little eyes. Very, very cute. And that, my friends, is it. So, yes, and it goes right into his little crown and all. And so that's it. That's that magazine. Look, I quite like the Simply Crochet. There's, there are times where there's stuff in it that I just don't make. But I like to have a look at what's coming out and gives me an idea of, you know, different things that I can do. It's a good read. It's good fun. So that's that. My finished objects... Oh, sorry, that's a dog toy. Is the campfire cardi? Completely done. It um does sit correctly, but yes, so this is the campfire cardi. I did do an extra two rows around the side here just so that it sat in a little bit more at the front. And I did an extra three rows on the bottom so that it sort of tucks in over my bottom. But this is the campfire cardi. It did take me a little while to do, only because I lost my crojo. About halfway through, I decided that I just... Well, I didn't decide. It was decided for me. I just couldn't keep going for some reason. I just lost the, the desire and I had to stop. I'm glad that I stopped, but I'm also glad for Carla of Crochet's, Crochet CJ. She started doing hers and inspired me to get mine finished. Um, she's still got a little bit to go with hers, but um, I'm really quite happy that I've now finished it. And it's only, it was done with the mandala. It was, um, uh, it was mandala central. And that's the colour. It took three, uh, two and a half cakes. And thanks to Becky from Funny Farm Crochet, because that's who gave me the yarn. Um, it's a little bit lighter than I had planned. I must admit, when I started it, I had plans to do it in a medium four. And for some reason, I ended up doing it in a three. So it's going to more likely be a summer slash spring slash autumn jacket definitely won't be for winter because it's not warm enough even in Australia standards but it's nice just to wrap up in and and snuggle up in 
so I'm quite happy with it I'm stoked with how it turned out it's actually two hexagons that you sew together and you do a panel in the back and you stitch it all together you actually stitch it together using double crochet sorry using the granny stitch so you slip stitch into one and you double you do the cluster in another you slip stitch into the next and you do a cluster into the next it's actually quite easy once you once you know how to begin with was a bit of a was a bit of a battle but once I got started it was quite easy um, and I quite enjoyed the whole process um, my whips are numerous oh actually I have another finished object a girlfriend of mine reached out to me she works in a local NICU and she reached out to me and asked for little beanies well I have provided some little beanies look how tiny that is that is just so tiny so I have four of those so I've started I also have a little miniature tiny little premi blanket uh, that's for a super small premi and then I'm started on a regular size premi blanket this will be 18 by 20 the other ones 12 by 12 so that's that one um, I'm quite happy with how they're coming along I was also struggling with my Crojo in relation to the baby blanket but I seem to have refound my Crojo in finding my Crojo with the campfire cardi I've managed to refine my crojo um, in dealing with everything else so I'm quite happy about that I think I lost it a little bit because I had done a blanket and I just wasn't feeling it um, but that's okay my other whip is I'm making myself a, a um, just a granny shawl it's called the Easy Breezy Granny Shawl. It is really easy. It's actually not even granny stitches, but it's the Easy Breezy Summer Shawl. I'll put a link to it down below if I can find it. Um, but yeah, if I can find it. <laughs> um, and I'm using one of the mandalas. It's the... That one there. It's the Mandala Ombre in the Colourway Mantra. So I like to keep my my um, ball bands. So at least at any time when I'm looking for them or someone says, Oh, what did you make that from? I can go to my ball band bag and I can tell them exactly what it was I made them from. Um, so that's pretty much where I'm at at the moment. I've got a couple of other whips, but they're buried deep, deep within <laughs> the bowels of the rest of my work. I'm making a, a team scarf for myself, for my football team. Uh, and I'm also making a shawl for my sister-in-law, but again, that got buried in the Crojo loss. I have a dog who's badgering at me now to go outside so I better take him outside so until next time keep crocheting keep crafting have fun and god bless